Hey there, today I'm going to share some quick travel tips from my experience as a pilot's wife. These are hints that are going to help you when you are packing, when you're going through the airport, and when you are inside the airplane. I am a Houston pilot wife. My name is Laurie and I share tips to help you travel the globe again without a worry in the world. I am also on Instagram as Travel Tips by Laurie. But anyway, if you click the little bell beside subscribe, you'll get notified through one email if I upload a free travel tip video for you. The number one travel tip that I think is important is to pack fewer clothes than you think you will need. You do not need five outfits or five shirts for a five day trip. So my travel tip is to pack one or two fewer shirts than the days of your trip. And another travel tip is to wear those shirts more than once with the few bottom pieces that you have packed. Yes, we have essentials that we need to pack, but you also can whittle down those essentials to what you really need to pack. One travel tip I realized last year is that you need to pack a hangout shirt or a hangout outfit for the after dinner time on your vacation until you wear your pajamas time. An old t-shirt from college or a velour uh, sweater set. I always now pack in compression packing cubes. It took me years to even try them. So I understand if that is not the way that is easiest or fastest for you but choose a method and that will help it go more smoothly. Another travel tip is to check the weather before you pack your shoes and then have one set of shoes be water resistant and then pack only one other pair of shoes. I have many packing tips that I will link in the description box below for you. A great travel tip for shoes is to untie your shoes like five people before it's your turn to go through the conveyor belt or through the airport screening. You're going to save time for yourself as well as the stress of being in a hurry when you're right up there on the conveyor belt, as well as saving the time of the passengers who have packed or worn their clothes correctly behind you. When you pack your medicine, make sure you pack it in your personal item bag that's going to be in the airplane under the seat in front of you. There are two reasons for this. One, in the winter especially, the overhead bins where you pack your carry-on suitcase, those can fill up because of coats and jackets and gifts if we can find them in the stores. Those overhead bins are going to fill up probably quickly. And so last minute, the flight attendant or the gate agent is going to say, there's no more room. We've got to tag your bag and put it in the belly of the airplane and you can pick it up when you get to your destination. It might get lost. So you want those essential medicines on your person in that personal item bag. Did I say there were two reasons? There are only one, there's only one reason. <laughs> All right, and your life is going to be so much easier as an airline passenger in 2022 if you have your airline app. You can buy your ticket that way. You can check in for your flight 24 hours in advance. You can see where your seat is going to be. You can see where your airplane is parked at. And then if you are going through another airport to get on another plane to get to that destination, it's called a connecting flight. You're going to then in the app be able to see where your new plane is parked. You can also watch the airline entertainment system, the shows, the movies. Um, you can do things through the app that you normally can't with just the paper ticket. When the airplane backs up, you know that you have to put your phone in airplane mode, right? If you want to start watching your Netflix shows or YouTube videos even, you can have those downloaded on your phone prior to your trip and you can watch those shows uh, while being in airplane mode. So you do not need the plane's Wi-Fi to be able to watch your Netflix shows that you haven't been able to watch in forever. Okay, and here's how you download your Netflix shows. Once you find the season and the show, on the right-hand side is the little down arrow. That means download. You click that, it's gonna download, and then immediately look in the bottom right-hand corner, and you'll see the little um, downloading or downloading word as it's downloading. Then when you get on the airplane, you have to do that before you get away from your house or Wi-Fi. Then when you're on the airplane in the air or backing away from the gate, you can in airplane mode, go to Netflix, click on that bottom right 
word downloads and it will show all the movies or shows that you have saved. Another travel tip is to remember to pack your chargers, your power banks, those cords you need that are going to charge your electronic devices. <laughs> Another travel tip that we saw is that the outlets that are under the airplane seats, even in the cheap seats, are now ge getting overused. So the plug might not stay in there. It's very loose. And so you are going to need that charge because you can't plug your phone in or your cord is not long enough to reach the outlet. And another great travel tip to help you remember those cords is to the night before your trip, charge those cords and put your carry-on suitcase or personal item bag under it so you will not forget those cords like I did. My husband as a pilot believes if you are on time you are late so we always recommend for good reasons too arriving at your airport if it's more than one terminal two hours before boarding time when you line up to start getting on the airplane not departure time because airplanes they will board 30 minutes or 20 minutes before the actual departure time and an important travel tip to remember if you are connecting through another airport to another airplane is that that airplane is also going to board 30 minutes before it takes off or it's scheduled to take off. So you may not have time to go get lunch. So just skedaddle down to the next plane. Another reason to get there early is because the TSA officers are now having to get the thing in them and that there are 40% of them who have not. So after a certain date, they are not going to be allowed to work. So there are going to be fewer officers, which means longer TSA lines. So get there early. Be less stressed because you stress less. When you are in a hurry in the TSA line, that's when I see people forget their ID or pick up the wrong bag. So we wanna be less stressed at the beginning of our vacation. Your airline crew is thankful that you are inside that airplane because they almost did not have a job last year. So know that a lot of them are glad to be there. Some of them are not. Sometimes you will have a bad one or a not so nice one and you're just gonna let their rudeness, just like you would a rude TSA officer, just let it roll off your shoulder because you are in vacay mode. <laughs> one day you are going to get a great flight attendant and it's gonna be such a delightful flight. My husband as a pilot despises when other pilots do not update you on why there is a delay and we're not going anywhere, or they do not say how long you can expect to wait before he gives you an update on that delay. But know that pilots, flight attendants, they are all just normal people. Some of them are very nervous speaking on a microphone because they're gonna say um a lot, which I understand if you knew all the ums that I edited out of my videos, whoo, you would be surprised. Some of them just do not like speaking in front of the public. So that's why, but one day you're going to get a great pilot who's going to tell you the cool Grand Canyon that is outside your window. And you're going to appreciate that. If you do have a major problem, be sure to write down the flight number because it's hard for management to do anything without that detail. You can DM or private message their social media uh, outlets. As we get into the winter months, our tip is to always take the direct flight and the early ones because with winter weather pouring in, Sometimes it's the morning flights that can get out. In the summer, it's the morning flights that can take off before the, the thunderstorms roll in and cause delays. For your information, American Airlines has come out and said that any pilots that do not get the thing will be terminated or cannot fly the day before Thanksgiving. So that means that there might be a lot of canceled flights that day, which is another reason why on top of weather, we recommend for Thanksgiving travel that you leave on Tuesday. That's when you should buy your ticket. Just in case your flight needs to hurry up or can get in the system before everything is delayed or just messed up somehow. <laughs> 
I am very grateful for the over 100,000 of you who are watching my videos. Thank you for your time. If you do need more travel tip videos, I have some down in the description box below. You can hit the upside down arrow or show more to get there. You can share this video. That is a huge support for me. Um, I'm having a lot of hours that I'm spending like six hours responding to comments. So I may just start doing a heart because I've got more videos to make, more tips to share with inquiring minds like yours. Thanks again for your time. I really am grateful for you.